All right, welcome back everyone. I am Rajneesh Gupta and I welcome all of you for this special CompTIA Security Plus exam preparation playlist. All right, so uh, in this video, we are going to learn about risk management and uh, specifically risk vector. All right, so if you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe it uh, so that you keep getting all the, all the videos about the CompTIA Security Plus related content. This is definitely gonna help you to make your career stronger uh, in the in the world of cybersecurity. All right, so let's get started with uh, understanding cyber risk vector. Okay, so if you remember correctly, so in the earlier videos we have already talked about uh, wh what are the threat vectors. Okay, so we have understood about threat vector already. Uh, to understand the risk vector, we need to understand about how much efforts you need to put in. Uh, from uh, for in order to protect yourself from such uh, attacks or such many many threats as well so that has to if the more critical resources you have the more risk you know the more possible risk you might have right because the more chance the chances uh, the chances are more that you know you get a threat for those those assets right so the first kind of risk factor is the mission critical IT infrastructure. So if we if the business is into mission critical infrastructure, let's say a business wherein you know it, it it's falling into the payment service, payment processing system, payment gateway, uh, the businesses whose business in whose main core business involve a lot of online payments, e-commerce sort of stuff. So in that situation, that becomes their core business. If they they if their payment gateway um, is offline for a minute or so it might be a, a bigger business impact right so that's where the risk increases as well transportation so this fall under the, the mission critical infrastructure it, it, it's a part of a transportation system where uh, you know it may be a logistic company as well or transportation company if their if their technology system fails uh, you know it might be a great it may be a big impact to the overall business as well or maybe emergency system right energy power or you know government 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 system as well like 911 in us that's that's how it works right when we talk about sensitive data or in a cyber security space we call it as cron uh, in that case if you have of course uh, every every business who are doing great in their in their vertical they definitely be doing they definitely be having some secret sauce right and or maybe they are in the business from very long run so the customer data is really critical for them if we can't really focus to secure our customer data or maybe intellectual property or trade secret think about companies like coca-cola or maybe an, any other FMCG product, right? So if they, for them, their secret sauce, their trade secret, uh, it's the, is the really is the key, in fact, right? So if that has to be stored somewhere, uh, maybe if it is digitally so stored, so we have to apply, we have to make sure uh, there has to be a enough control in order to secure that, right? So that's where your risk factor also increases, okay? If there's any attempt in, in in accessing those data by any external threats or insider threats as well, it might lead to a great, uh, you know, uh, a bigger impact on your network, right? So that's where the risk increases as well. So we always have to make sure, uh, you know, we we bring down the risk on our overall overall infrastructure. Next is the third party risk. This can be related to businesses who are collaborating with the third parties, IT companies, logistic companies, uh, ERP solution, many stuff, right? So for sales, invoice, and any 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 kind of a related, any related activity, organization depend on the third party. So on those situations, they 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 provide or they expose enough privileges to those third party. We need to make sure we understand that risk very well, right? So if you if you consider the recent threat that happened with the solar wind, that uh, you that's where the fire eye infrastructure was compromised. This was all happened because of the supply chain attack, right? Because 
fire eye was dependent on solar when solution orient product solution for their it management help desk management tool so attacker compromised the solar wind tool in order to gain access into the fire eye system to get the information about the fire eye customers which are most mostly the government organizations all right so next we have physical risk factors right or vectors so in the physical risk vector there are quite a lot of things involved like access control um, you know access control as a mantra right so we need to make sure those who come into the organization uh, are we really having enough resources to check in to check if those are all legitimate people coming inside uh, looking at their id card and everything we have enough uh, you know cctv cameras and all those stuff right server room access this is where our data actually resides if we are not really uh, if we haven't outsourced our data to the cloud so we need to make sure in case we have all our you know data information on prime we need to make sure only authorized persons should get access into the server room right and of course restricting the usb bootable devices now uh, this is very important i mean nowadays most of the organization by default block the usb bootable devices by default right and there are a lot of data loss prevention tool with dlp solution which are already in place to restrict those stuff and this is also a part of some um, important compliances like pci dss and some financial organization compliances as well all right so uh, this is this is all about risk vector make sure you don't really confuse it you don't really you know uh, don't get confused with the threat vector because threat vector is all about what are the different ways the threat can come in right uh, risk vector is all about understanding your assets understanding about your crown jewel and what are the overall risk uh, on on those assets right so understand that way very click uh, clearly if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section i'll be happy to help thank you